So you want to develop a game engine and do not know how long is it gonna take you. Is it gonna take you one year, two years, five years, a whole lifetime? You do not know, but guess what? I do have an idea. So let's do this. Let's find out how long is it gonna take you to develop your own game engine from scratch. Let's roll it. Hey guys, uh, before I begin, I want to invite you to join my Discord server where we have several game engine developers, just like you, developing their own game engines. Some of the members are actually creating really cool game engines. So you may want to join us uh, and you know start a conversation with them because they may help you uh, you know, get started with your own game engine, with your own specific platform or language that you want to uh, develop. So now let's talk about how long is it going to take you to develop a game engine. But before I start, let's um, let's define what a game engine is. All right. Um, what we mean by game engine is a, a, a system that has a uh, mathematics library um, that I, you know, that is going to deal with all, all of the linear algebra operations. Um, a rendering system for rendering 3D models so, uh, and also a physics and collision system, right? That is how I'm going to define a game engine. Mathematics a library, a rendering system, a physics and collision detection system. This is basically what um, makes up the framework of a game engine. Of course, you are gonna have more systems and components on top of it, but this is the foundation. And what we are going to be discussing is how long is it gonna take you to develop the foundation, all right? So um, the good thing is that I actually have, um, no, not statistics, I actually have data um, that actually um, shows how long it took me to develop a game engine. All right, so let's just start out with um, a timeline here. I began developing my game engine in June 2013. Um, that's when I started from scratch. I knew very little about C++. I didn't know C, but not C++. I knew um, almost nothing uh, when it came to OpenGL and computer graphics. Um, and I had a little to no experience when it came to game engine development. I'll say, you know what? I had no experience to, when it came to game engine development at all, all right? Um, I had developed games, but you know, I had used game engines, but not developed them, all right? So I started in June, 2013. Um, by the time that I was able to develop the basic framework, that took about three years of work and I was able to complete that in July 2016. Um, so what happened in between June 2013 and July 2016? Well, that is where I started um, developing the different components that I mentioned. Um, one of the first thing that I did was to develop the mathematics library. Um, then uh, what I did after that was to uh, develop the rendering system. And that uh, took me about two years to complete. Um, why? Well, because I you know, had to develop the, the several components in my rendering system. I had to, uh, number one, I had to learn OpenGL, I had to learn computer graphics, and I had to implement certain uh, implementations that will allow the engine to render 3D models, skyboxes, animations, etc. Um, and all of that time was spent learning, reading, and um, implementing uh, the whole uh, system. So that took about two years of work. Now, when I was done with the rendering system, my next step was to develop the physics uh, and collision system. Um, and I started doing that um, around uh, April 2015. Um, and that took, to develop the collision system, guys, that took about a year to develop. So I went from June 2013, when I started, to April 2015, when I had my rendering system up and running, and then a whole year uh, just to develop the collision detection system. Um, and that's when I basically had the basic framework of my game engine completed. It took three years to get my basic framework up and running. And when I mean basic framework, I really mean basic. I mean, there was nothing to show off, nothing to showcase. It was just what the bare minimum of a game engine. So once I had the basic framework up and running, my next uh, 
my next goal was to actually uh, improve that game engine in the sense that I needed to implement more components into the game engine. I had to implement a camera system, for example, a portico system as well. I had to fix some performance issues. I remember also taking a while fixing um, a plenty of memory uh, leaks that the game engine was having. So it took a long time to actually uh, develop these smaller components. Um, and have the engine to a point where I could release it to the public. And I did that in 2018, actually July 28th, 2018. Um, so as you can see, um, to go from knowing nothing about game engine development, which happened in 2013, to, to uh, having my first, uh, the first basic framework of the engine took about three years. But then I spent two more years uh, improving the engine and implementing a smaller components that, let's be honest, we all expect a game engine to have, right? Like a camera system or particle system, and stuff like that. Um, and that took two more years. So in total, it took me five years to develop a basic game engine, right? And um, I was able to complete that in 2018. Now, what have I been doing all this time from 2018 to, uh, 20, to the year 2021? Uh, well, I've been working on it uh, every day, uh, waking up at 5 a.m. as always, and just fixing it, improving it, uh, rewriting components, uh, learning more about game engine development, um, and just, you know, hustling, right? Like just show up, uh, fix issues, um, and spend, most of my free time um, just coding and improving the engine. And what am I saying this? Well, because one of the things that you need to keep in mind is that your game engine development um, will never end because there will be something, something that you can improve, something that you can add to the engine, um, a new feature that you want to, you know, um, to provide to the users, uh, stuff like that. So even though it took me five years, I, I am still working on it every single day. Uh, so keep that in mind. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And please join my Discord server. Thank you. That camera moved. <laughs> thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next time. If you are developing your own game engine, you may be wondering, well, what book should I buy uh, to develop my own game engine? Well, if you go to my website, I actually have an article where I share with you the books that help me develop a game engine. Um, the article is actually uh, broken down into sections. Um, each section will uh, tell you what books I use to develop the mathematics library, the rendering system, the physics and collision uh, detection system, etc. I also share with you uh, the books that will help you get started, um, you know, when it comes to game engine development. Um, so if you are interested, uh, feel free uh, to check out uh, my website. I'm going to provide the link in the description below. Um, so have at it, take a look at it. I'm sure they're going to help you because these books, they help me develop my own game engine.